previously on Clueless. The creep can see us. Cher, it's Murray. He's trying to scare us. It's working. Every Halloween, he pulls an infantile prank like this. I'm in charge of the senior charity fundraiser, and I want this thing to be huge. I'm thinking Halloween Haunted Mansion. Jason's having a little trouble executing your vision. There's nothing wrong with the little blood. Everyone loves to have the crap scared out of them. Terrifying enough. Share. He's dead. How's this for a vision? Kill all the rich kids. She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't see. She wears her heart on her sleeve. So none of you witnessed the actual stabbing? No, Marshall was in another room trying to make Linda's thighs twitch. Excuse me? Well, her body didn't move after her head got knocked off. Who's Linda? Another product of the unhinged, sick, demented mind of the psychotic I am so proud to call my ex, Murray Lawrence Duvall. He is your man. Arrest him. Dion! Post-traumatic breakup stress. She's kidding. Who's Murray? Not your man. Not a murderer. Where is he? In the killing closet. Uh, it, it's not really a killing closet. It's just a walk-in with bloody spaghetti hanging. I'll go get him. Okay. Now, you mentioned that right before the murder, somebody named Jason got into a fight. I wouldn't worry about Jason. Big, scary, outside character. Too obvious. Never the murderer. All right. Listen. Was anybody else in the room around the time of the murder? Coach Schemer and Amber, but they laughed. Possible suspects, both unbalanced. Okay. Where did they go? To trashy lingerie to buy some underwear. A teacher and a student? No, it's not like that. Coach Dimmer is a girl. Is everybody okay? Just one to kill. Who's next? Detective Westerchill, I think I'm beginning to see a pattern to the killings. Yes? First Marshall, now Coach Deemer. Uh-huh. The killer is obviously targeting the semi-regulars. <laughs> Marshall and Coach Deemer are dead. Who? There's a crazed killer on the loose. Hold it. She's crazed. She's loose. She's your man. Shoot now, ask questions later. Hey, if I was gonna kill anybody, I'd start with you. That's true. All right, let her go. John? Murray? Moesha? It could be a crossover episode. Oh, not a problem for Millie. Sí. 
keep coming. Uh, Murray! What? All right, now I'm really confused. Look, man, don't shoot, all right? I live in a neighborhood, okay? I got my ID and a video camera. Murray. Murray? If he's Murray, then who is... Oh, you blew away murderer Murray! You were supposed to be the grand finale of my bloody house of smelly death tour. Is everything okay? Well, murderer Murray's blown the heck. Oh, man, you worked so hard on that. Tell me about it. Hey, I gave you that sweater. Oh, well, I hated it. Guys, priorities? God. Coach Deemer? Dead? No, she's just napping with her neck at a comfortable 90 degree yeah. angle. to uh, check in with the precinct. Oh. What the dealio with her eyes? They're stuck. Oh. <laughs> My cell phone isn't working. The signal's jammed. See what happens in Beverly Hills adjacent? What I'm telling you is that worker guy cycle, Jason. He knows how to manipulate cellular services. Okay, everybody stay here. I gotta go out in the squad car and use a radio. No! Basic horror movie rule. If a detective and or police officer leaves to A, investigate a strange sound, B, go back to the station after assuring everyone things are fine, or C, use the radio, he's toast. That's my girl. You wish. Look, this isn't a movie. I'll be right back. Oh! Less than a minute, he's dead. Then what? Okay. Now, this is just how it happened in Grave Robber 3. See, the detective, he goes out the front door, right? And then Stitches comes around back and mows everybody down using his razor sharp shovel. That's not good. I know. So, Sean, we're gonna need you to go out back and guard our flank. Me? Mm, I'm not gonna tangle with Stitches. You go. Me? I can't. I'm the brains of this operation. God help us all. And, and exactly what do you expect me to do if I see the killer? Make some sort of sound to warn us. How about a high-pitched girly scream? What? Because that's one of several scary things that's going to come out of me if I run into the dude. Hey, buddy. May the force be with you. Force this. Go! <laughs> oh! Who is it? Detective Rester Chill. Let him be in. No, 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 no. You guys, it's the killer! What? The cop could be the killer! No, he can't. He was with us when Coach Deemer died. Okay, well, it could be the killer imitating Detective Westerchill's voice. Wow, he's multi-talented. He kills senselessly and does impressions. Do John Wayne! Murray, open the door. Okay. Let me see your badge. Trap! 
I'm back. She's got a poncho. So, you got spit ends. Dion, you are doing a fabulous Pam Greer, but she is not the killer. The killer has to be a guy. Excuse me? Don't you think that's just a little sexist? Look, at the front door, the killer did a dead-on impression of Detective Westerchill. Now, with her squeaky voice, there is no way that Patty could imitate a guy. I take it you missed her werewolf audition. Come on, Patty. It's over. Don't make me cut you. This is what happens when you are raised south of Wilshire. Patty, don't make things worse. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have no problem convincing the jury that you're completely insane. I'm not insane. And I'm not the killer. I'm just a cheerleader with a knife. Okay? Okay. On three, you ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Elka oh. Bomb! Thank you. Okay. Not even close. Marty. Look, no matter what happens to us, I want you to know you're it for me, baby. No one even came close. Marty. I made the biggest mistake of my life the day I let you go. Escapes the slasher. The virgin? Exactly. As long as we remain virgins, then we're fine. I'm dead. You didn't. Well, I, I, yeah, I did. With who? It was a long, hot summer.
rookie mistake. You know better than to rule out a corpse. Ow, I get it. It's get back in Murray time, right? Okay, well, you got me, you win. Okay, you win, ha ha, big joke. Big joke? Sean, what are you doing? I'm getting back. I'm getting back at everybody that thought I was a nobody. I am so sick of being your lackey. I'm so sick of being completely invisible to girls. Well, those days are over. Shawnee, everybody loves you. Like they love a dog, shut up. Now everybody's gonna remember me, even my middle name, Eugene. Your middle name's Eugene? See, you don't know me at all. I... Now, you're gonna have to pay for it. Say goodbye to your precious D. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> and turning in a fine performance as the very scary technician Jason, let's give it up for Phil Spader. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Of course, no production would be possible without the support of generous patrons like my daddy, Mel Horowitz. Ha -ha! Mel? Mel. <laughs> Thanks, Murray. A truly entertaining evening. And yeah, well, I'm always happy to humiliate myself for the enjoyment of others. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We got a yummy buffet set up in the dungeon for the disemboweled. Let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> she does that one more time, I'm decking her. All right, you got me good, girl. I hope you learned a lesson. Oh, yeah, I did. Next year, I'm gonna get you so bad. Murray. <laughs> no, I got it. I'm gonna lay off on the slasher stuff, all right? It's a lot less cool when all of a sudden it becomes real. I think we've all become a little desensitized. Right. Well, the message has been received and pounded in. All right, let's eat. Mm. Huh, you think I could eat after seeing all of that blood? Are you sick? Okay. So then why don't we discuss your ex-virginal status? Let's see! So, how'd your kids like Uncle Murray's happy haunted clubhouse? Was it too scary? In a word, Uncle Murray, it sucked. It... Excuse me? It makes Barney look edgy. You should be ashamed. Listen, you little slug. If you don't shut up and behave, I am going to send you into the dungeon where rats will gnaw on your eyes, and then I'm going to fill the empty sockets up with worms. Cool. What? How did you? What the deal with the kids? The bloody house of smelly death? Too scary. The happy haunted clubhouse was too lame. OK, well then, should I break out Linda and lop her head off? That's too scary. OK, well, how about I flap my arms around and scream to everybody, I want to drink your blood. Too lame. Skip the accent. You got it. <laughs>